He's just a little bastard. Ain't ya? Ain't ya little bastard? Good morning, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator, and welcome back to Project Zomboid. So, uh, I wasn't able to make an aerosol bomb yesterday. Had all these great ideas, had all these fantastic plans, and, and jack shit happened with them. Which is really, really disappointing. So, I'm gonna load up these batteries and flashlights and go look for some rope, and I can finish out at least that part of my my secondary base and uh, I've also got a shit ton of uh, lumber pallets and pallets of lumber so let's see how many of these could I fit probably all of them it's gonna make me quite overweight but it will not break my back so okay very heavy load no problem there we'll get on the road Ugh, I'm so disappointed that I couldn't make a fucking stupid poop crap shit Ah, frustrate. Quite frustrating indeed. But, uh, I suspected as much because I picked electrician instead of engineer. So, uh, it's, it's my just desserts, I suppose. There's a sheet. Oh my god. Look at all this crap. We got ropes. We got plenty of ropes. I got so many ropes, I don't know what to do with all these ropes. Okay, well that's nice. I'll load up some nails, too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm make nail gun ammo oh you can do it with pliers cool build honeycomb frame oh well plank and nails and carpenter bench let's see what happens and then what I don't know how to make a bee beehive whatever the fuck it is bee 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 Ranching? Is it under ranching? Could I make a bee beehive? Hive. Feed baby chicken. Kill baby chicken. God damn it. It does nothing at all. I don't know what I'm what I'm trying to do here. Ugh. What a piece of trash. Okay, anyways. I've got enough ropes and flashlights that I can make uh, a few more light posts on the stick. Light post on the stick! And I'll put them up around my, my secondary base out here. I've also got a shit ton of little tiny fish. Apparently I was starving in the middle of the night, but didn't think to just look inside the bag. Look in the little bag and eat all the fish from there. I could probably catch some bigger fish as well. But uh, I might have fished out my, my little uh, supply up there. Because I know if you fish there for too long, it just dies. And then you gotta wait a season for the fish to come back, or something like that. I don't know, salmon spawning, some shit like that. <laughs> but it's been pretty productive, all things considered. I still haven't quite finished my uh, my cookbook. It's a cookbook! But the, uh, the multiplier is pretty good, 4.8. I think I can get up to even more. Maybe around 8 or 12, something like that. And then that helps your, your skill points come even faster, because it just ticks along so slow. I think it's been like four episodes and I got one skill point. I'm like, okay, well, guess I'll put that into, into something stupid. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. I think I want to uh, put two light posts on each corner of my base so I can light up the entire thing. But I've got a little bit more to do inside the base as well. So, uh, we'll see how much. I think I can only make three. So if I do one more in here, and then the rain collectors are not gonna allow me to do one on that side. Which I should have probably thought about, but eh. Whatever, bro. Um, where are my ropes? I got a big old pallet of lumber here. I'm gonna leave this outside my door. So I don't forget about it. Oh, get wire back from broken fishing net trap. That's a good idea. Ah, that's a load off my back. Mm-hmm. I guess my flashlights aren't in here. Unpack one of thems. And, uh, we just need to break one crate, I think. And I have the rope in my inventory already, so yeah. We're ready to make a lamp on a pillar! Lamp on pillar! Lamp on pillar! 
Like that? I think that's right. That'll do just fine. Boop, boop. And uh, it doesn't seem like it did too much, but okay. It's the choice that we made. <laughs> I could break it. If I really don't like it, I could just fucking break it, but I'm not going to. Not quite yet. Now, do I have more flashlights and things? I could have sworn that I did. Hmm. I guess perhaps I didn't take them off of the, uh, the shelf in there. Oh, well. At least I got a bunch of lumber. I could do something with that. Oh, I could forage. I could forage in my own base? That's fucking awesome. She's fucking awesome. All right, put these crates away. Let's see. Spoon, I guess. I used that to make some guacamole yesterday. It was pretty good. I wasn't too disappointed with how it came out. <laughs> I wasn't the one that actually had to eat it either, so those th those two things probably go hand in hand. Uh, there's a bunch of batteries. I'll drop those off. Pliers, I like. Rope. Hmm. It seems like whenever stuff goes on the shelf, it just kind of gets lost forever. And you can you can kiss it goodbye, basically. <laughs> uh, there's a bath towel, alarm clock. Hmm. I could probably use this alarm clock for something. For something good. And then uh, that pallet of lumber. I can't quite think of a use for it yet. But I'm sure at some point I'll be like, Aha! It's an ingenious idea. Hmm. Let's do some fishing. I want to see if my uh, my shit up here is all tapped out or or what happened. What happened? I don't understand. Uh, I unpacked my needle. I unpacked my tackle. I just wanted to unpack the fish. Okay. Is that all right with you? God damn it. I know you catch the big fish if you use the little bait fish. Even though they are so delicious and wonderful. There we go. Isn't that nice? And do I have a fishing skill? Yeah, I got the boost for a couple more levels. And then I'll need to read the next one. But it's not really going to matter until I get my, uh, my skill point shit going. Look at that. Fresh pike. Mmm. That's good. Tell you what that is. That's good right there. Mm-hmm. I'll catch another pike. It's breakfast time. What time is it? It's breakfast time. What time is it? It's breakfast time. Catch the pike. Catch the pike. Put it in your big old mouth. Oh, got another one. Another one. Another one. Okay. We're done now. I probably don't need that many. Just, just, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and finish it out. We might catch one more. 56 centimeters? Mm, I don't know what a centimeter is. <laughs> I'm American. I don't know what a centimeter is. Mm, ignorance. Let's see. Slice fillets. Yes, do this for me now. Well, that cuts down on the weight just a little bit. I thought they were going to be worth more than that, hunger-wise. Uh, eat one of them. Eat one of them. All right, that's good. Uh, already exerted? Is fishing really that uh, that strenuous for you? Eat another pike. We'll go read a fucking book. How's that? Are you gonna be happy? You gonna be happy if you read a book? Of course not. He's never happy. He's just a little bastard. Ain't ya? Ain't ya little bastard? I should go back and get those uh. What you call them? What do you call them? Flashlights. Damn, I can't remember any words recently. My brain just uh, does not function so well. Hmm. It never really did, but especially now. I should light up a fire and see if I could cook some of these little fishes over it. Or boil some water. That would be a, a good experiment. Now that my aerosol experiment has fucking failed miserably. I'm so disappointed in you, aerosol bomb. Okay, cooking is good. 
8 multiplier, just like I thought. Excellent. Uh, close this door. Close that door. Drop cooking on the floor. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. I'll need to go find a, a pot or something that I can fill with foul water. And then I'll see if I can get that get that water clean and make it all drinkable and whatnot. I don't know if you can cook with foul water. It probably seems like a, not a great idea, but I ain't no scientist either. It could be just fine. Hmm. How about this house? We used to use this house until the windows got busted out. And now uh, I'm scared. Now I'm really scared to go in here. Close the door. Close it. it. Doesn't sound like anything's in here. But something could just fucking hop through that window. So let's uh let's be quick about this. A bowl? No, I want like a a kettle or something. Maybe saucepan could work. That seems like a relatively small amount of water. Ooh, more nails. Carpentry books. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Not impressed. I am not impressed! Empty mug. That's even worse than the saucepan. Roasting pan. No. Dang. Give me this whiskey. Give me this vodka. I need all of it, all of these things. We're gonna have a cookout. A little bit of a cookout. Cooking pot. Yeah, that's what I want. All right. Big old cooking pot. Way better than saucepan. And then uh, I'll fill it up with foul fish water, and I'll clean it by boiling it. I hope. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna work, but I really hope that it does. Oh, you hungry again, little guy? We got lots of fish for you. You just snack on that. That's fine. I don't need to get really that far past the the hunger going away. Let's see. Fill cooking pot. I'll fill the water bottle from the cooking pot. That seems like a good idea. And that weighs three pounds. Full of tainted water. Well. That's okay. We're gonna fix it. We're gonna fix it. Why can't I light this? Where to put my lighter? Hmm. Come on. Take campfire materials? I don't understand. I was able to light it the other day. You son of a bitch. Campfire materials. Yeah. We're gonna build a fire. Right here. I think it's a sufficient amount away from my base. There is no firefighting anything in this game yet, so uh, we need to be exceedingly careful. And it seems like I, I don't have shit to start the fire with, so I'm going to grab that book that I just read. I guess I have to load it up every single day. If you stick a book in there, it doesn't, it doesn't stay, maybe? Maybe an animal ran off with my intermediate cooking book and fucking... <laughs> Is living a life of its own now. How about some twigs? How about some branches? Can I use any of this? More twigs. Mm-hmm. Let's see how that goes. Plank? There's a lot of planks over there. Okay, add fuel. Yes, twigs. Light fuel. Twigs and lighter. Uh, advanced cooking and lighter. That'll work. Okay, that's good. Add a tree branch in there. Oh, it's getting brighter. A little bit brighter. Okay, good. Now let's boil this water on there. Pour into water bottle? No. Pour on ground? No. Equip? Do I equip it? Hmm. I can't seem to boil it. That's going to present quite a problem. And I can't seem to cook anything. Do I need like a grill or something? I don't understand anything anymore. 
Oh, it's getting a little hot with my sweater. There we go. Unequip your sweater. Take it off. Take it off. Ow! Hmm. <laughs> Put a sweater in there. Put a plank in there. Oh, yeah. That's a good fire. We got a good fire going. Although I'm still not sure exactly how, uh, how to boil water. <laughs> I can't even boil water in this game. Uh, I'm very sad now. Hmm. Build? If I build anything, it's going to get burnt up, isn't it? I think. Add fuel. Take campfire materials. No, that's all going to be a bad idea. It's going to be a terrible idea. Do I just stand closer? I don't want to stand too close. Pour into water bottle. No. That's not going to work. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Add fuel, put out fire. Hmm. And build. The only options that I have. That's so bad. All right. Let's go ahead and try and forge some things. I guess starting the fire was uh, some sort of victory. But yeah, it really sucks. I got a cooking pot that I can do fucking nothing with. Ooh, unknown berries. <sighs> Dang, should I eat those? Fuck. I don't think I want to eat them. <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea to eat the unknown berries, really. Not unless it fucking comes down to it. If I die from berries, again, I'll be, uh, super disappointed. Let's forge a little more. We'll forge a little more. We'll see what happens. I'm sure I'm getting some skills from this, aren't I? Maybe. Probably. Hmm. Look at that! It's going up! Because I found something. Cool. I found another berry. Awesome work. It's probably the same story if you forage too long. It's, uh, it's not going to go well. Oh, look. Stone? A little bit of straw? Oh, I could make twine with straw? Are you fucking kidding? Yeah, make twine, dude. Holy shit. I can make fishing net traps all out of, uh, natural materials. Except wire. But I have plenty of wire. I'm not worried about that shit too much. Hmm. Well, foraging ain't so hard after all. Look at all this that I'm doing. More straw. Oh, you tired? You fucking tired now? Where's my cup of black coffee? Drink this up. Yes. That'll take that away from you. Uh, got a mug and a cooking pot. Probably shouldn't carry those around too much. You can eat birch bark? What the fuck? I don't know much about any of this. Hmm. Interesting. I like foraging. Who'd have thunk it? Let's try over here. Forage. Go on. Go on and forage. I hope we find some more straw. Making twine is fucking awesome. I just need to become a better forager, I think. What did I find? Chip stone. I think chip stone can be combined with something. Hmm. Maybe a branch? Yeah. Stone axe. Wooden spear. Crude wooden stake. Let's make a stone axe. Hmm. Raw axe is what it's called. It's in good condition. Let's see. Can we chop a tree with it? It looks like a regular ass axe. Oh, but it is shit on the durability. First hit took a, a point off of it. And, uh, yeah. It's not too great at chopping. I guess that makes sense. It is just a fucking sharp stone attached to a... <laughs> to a branch. But it works. Which I find kind of surprising. I like it. I'm a little bit shocked and amazed, but I like it. 
Damn, it takes so much longer to do that shit. Okay, we're done. Raw axe, whatever. Thank you so much for uh, exhibiting your mysteries to me. Should we forge some more? A little bit more. I like foraging. You find all kinds of treats out here. Hey, what you got? What's that, some straw? I'll take that. That's all I really want. Then I can make more twine. I'm scared to eat the fucking berries and all this crap. Whoa, black ant. What the fuck? Got some grass? What do you do with grass? I can eat it? Oh my god. You'd be so miserable if you eat all this birch bark and grass and shit. I don't think that offers any nutritional value. That's probably not good. Don't teach the children that. Huh. If I just forge one more time, I bet I could uh, knock this up. Knock this up to the top level. And I still won't be able to get it up. There it is. But that's okay. At least I know how to forage now. Oh, and some more twine. And I can make a straw hat. Four straw hats. But yeah, I'm gonna make twine for sure. Shit, dude. That's awesome. Alright, it is getting late. 8 o'clock now. My fire's still going really, really well. But, uh, can we put this out now? Cool. Hey! Cool! Alright! Alright, alright, alright! What a wonderful day we had. Some interesting experiences indeed, friends. This has been Project Zomboid. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I sincerely hope you've enjoyed this episode uh, featuring foraging. <laughs> and I hope that you'll like, comment, and or subscribe. And if you do, friends, any of the above, I will send you a black ant of your very own. Uh, he'll probably get crushed in the mail because you know what the post office is like. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's going to be great. You can do something with him. I don't know. Eat it. It's worth a couple calories. Go fishing with it. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks again for watching, friends. And until then, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.